back. The biggest wedding day of the year is quickly approaching. So today our flower design expert, Jay Schwenke, is here to show us some bouquet options for brides. 10, 10 of 10. I didn't know that was like hot. Uh, yeah, because we, you know, we had 999. We had, you know, so now 10, 10, 10, 11, okay. 11, 11 is going to be a big deal next year. All right. Well, so, before we talk flowers, we got to okay. talk star power because we had fun last night. You had a lot of fun. You went we to did. Battle Creek. We went to Battle Creek and we took flowers to Kathy Griffin. And so we got Look to see her. Look at you guys. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. And uh, she's so nice and it was wonderful. We had she, a great was time. Was she naughty on stage? Oh, though? she was. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the absolutely. allure. Absolutely. Yeah, that's, that's the whole cool part. So, but yeah, we took her beautiful flowers and so, and then we took us a little while to get back, but we're here today to talk about that. Well, too. I'm glad you're here. And weddings, this is the time when brides are really doing a lot of planning. Exactly. And they're looking for cool stuff. Mass bouquets are extremely popular right now. So, a, a bouquet that's all hydrangeas, beautiful, or all hypericum, or all carnations. Now, it's also interesting, too, because these could be your bridesmaids' bouquets. Each person could carry a different flower. Mm, nice. And so, having this collection of flowers together, I mean, I love these green carnations or the hypericum. Here come great texture too. Oh, yeah. But then some people also think about carrying a single flower. And so some, by, some people carry it a single rose. These are beautiful uh, dark Milva roses. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to show you today about a cool thing called a composite flower. Okay. okay. And this is where we take the petals and we take three or four flowers and create a bigger flower. It's like a it. deconstructed Exactly. Rose. We take the petals off. Wow. And we use those petals and we cut off the ends. Mm -hmm. And then we use a great product called Oasis Floral Adhesive. Mm-hmm. And what that allows us to do is to glue them to something. Now, this is a ribbon bolt end. It's oh, the good. end off of a ribbon bolt. Yes. Okay, so we're recycling that. We apply glue to that, and we also apply glue to, the to flower. a flower petals. Uh -huh. And then we can glue those on, and we start and make concentric circles. Now, on my website, ubloom.com, if you... If you search on the website for composite flowers, there's a complete webisode showing how okay. we do this. Okay. But then we take a beautiful rose like this, and we take that little guy, and we've created something. These Look at the all size of this. Yeah, yeah, spectacular. Okay. And then we slip this rose down inside. And I just need to pop off a couple of these thorns because they're going to well, not you're let brave me get... grabbing at those thorns Well, you know like what? That. Off the side. You just pop them off the side. Because you've left a little hole in the middle, guys, and that's how you're going to slide through and we just send that down through mm -hmm. that hole. And Look then that, that sinks oh my into gosh. the middle. Isn't that a, that's an awesome reveal, isn't it? That, I love that. It really I love the way good. that that looks. Yeah. yeah. And then we use the pipe cleaners that are actually inside here, mm -hmm. and we wrap that around the stem on the back side. Yeah. And would that be enough then for the bride or the, the bride's Absolutely, because think of how pretty that is. It's so, I mean, gorgeous. imagine you've got your three bridesmaids and your maid of honor carrying that. And they're all color coordinated. I love the idea of everybody having their own kind of salad bouquet. It's fun. And then Hi, we coat it with the Chrysler for professional glory. Yep. That's the key factor here that's going to make sure that that lasts a long period of time. If somebody were trying to make their own bouquets, Jay, is it best like day before or with a little chrysal? Well, can you Absolutely, day before and you can do it that way. There's some cool things. There's there's some there's some florists in town who also have DIY things where they teach you how to make your bouquets. Huh. And you can go to workshops there and learn how to make your own bouquets and then the florist kind of helps you through that process if you're trying to save money. Mm -hmm. If you're going to try and do something like this, Go to your professional florist. This is this is a technique for the professional florist. Yeah. You know, Martha Stewart may tell you that you can do this yourself. My grandfather used to do them, and he'd wire and tape them together. Oh, my. And with the glue, it's much easier. But this is something you leave for the pros, you know? So, Some yeah. things are best so, done by pros. Well, you know, and you want to enjoy that day. Mm -hmm. That's the great thing. Brides, are they carrying loose, loose flowers like this more? What's the trend? Or it's very popular right now to have the, the gathered bouquets like mm -hmm. that. But we're also seeing a trend where... Design is coming back to floral design, and we're seeing more of the cascading bouquets. Oh, the and then that means that there's more design involved with that as opposed to having them bundled together. We've been doing this for so long. It's still a very comfortable feel, and there's a lot of flowers there. But as trends change, we start to see more of those cascades coming back. All so right. it's very, very 70s looking. Again, you need the pros for those cascaders. You can uh, find out more about Jay and you bloom online at the Take 5 homepage. Well, there are kids, cats, and a couple of schmucks headed to theaters this weekend. Ron's in with a look at what's new at the movies next, so stay with us, please.